I think the times where I have struggled the most um, or felt the most resistance, yeah, were those times that I was trying to do something because I felt like I needed to. I felt like everyone else was doing it. I felt like I was missing the boat somehow. So I think when the motivation is external in the sense of it's coming from comparison or a desire to like not miss out on what other people are doing, uh, it's not as powerful. It's not as like authentically you. And what I really love about this concept of alignment is like, I believe every person is an intersection of so many unique facets that like only you can bring to the world or only you can do. So for me, when I started living in alignment, it was when I actually started merging all of those facets of myself. Like, so not only the creative aspect and writing things that felt deeply meaningful to me and sharing about my life relationships, like journey. Um, It was kind of like the aggregation of all of those, of honoring Mm. all of those aspects for me. Um, So what I, I guess would encourage for people is to, first of all, like get quiet, look inward because there is like an inner knowing in all of us that is so much more powerful than all the like chatter or advice or things that are happening around us. And then to, from that place of like knowing and worthiness um, to yeah, honor and, and think about what are those facets about you that you can merge together to create a life that is super, super unique to you. And, um, and then to, then to chase that. Um, but I think it comes from getting quiet first. Yeah. I love that so much. And I agree with you. You, it's, it's, you are so unique, like all the little things that bring you joy that make you shine, like to find a way to like merge them (laughs) and that, that is like the key. Um, and, and to those who are listening, who like, don't know, have no idea what that is. Like it, that's life. Life is the journey of like figuring that out almost. For sure. I mean, I'm 33, I'm turning 34. This journey has taken me years, if not decades. These skills have taken years, if not decades. Like none of this was an overnight thing. None of this just appeared out of thin air, you know? And so it is, it's like this journey of becoming. And uh, there's a really awesome kind of like philosopher philosopher guy I don't know if you listen to Naval he does um Mm -hmm. some super cool podcasts and stuff but yeah yeah so uh he says like keep redefining what you do until like you're the only person in the world that does it and you're the like keep redefining what you do until you're the best in the world because you're the only person that does it and I've really always resonated with that 